Alright, hey YouTube. Um, working on another scooter. It's a BWiz Sport 2003. There it is over there. And, uh, got the plastic parts right there. Here's the engine base. It's a uh, 2003 with um, 31,000 kilometers on it. So, uh, my friend bought this actually for $400. It's all plated. Um, the only thing it needed was uh, an air intake. There's no air box. Everything else works, but I mean, it was really dirty, so I'm doing a big cleaning of everything. Got the electric starter soaking in some gas in that Tupperware. Hopefully, uh, I'll get it to work again. Um, yeah, but I'm just doing an all-around cleaning. I bought some new rollers, roller weights, because they were the, the ones that were in it were really worn, and it, they weren't completely round anymore. They had kind of a flat side to them. So that's all the parts of the transmission. Then I've got the belt over here. I can't tell if it's been changed or if it's really worn. I mean, it looks okay. It's always yet another one. Um, I'm going to repaint it for him. Got all the paints over here. We're doing a matte black with some red parts to it. Got some chrome for uh, your transmission cover over there. That's not his, by the way. His is here. And uh, some primer and clear. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of work to be done on it. There's no uh, second bolt for the muffler, and I, I'm guessing it's probably because it's stripped, so I'm going to have to re-tap that. Uh, also, I got some new parts. I got some more parts that I've ordered that are coming in. Besides, this is the scooter. It's got, it's like, um, the body is pretty abused. Like, there's a lot of broken parts to it. Like, just this. This is screwed in. And uh, if you look here, this is just like a little plastic piece, 31,000K. But I mean, for the price you paid, it's uh, I think it's a good deal. Um, everything works on it electrical except for the uh, turn signals over here. Um, this is the wiring for them. I'm going to have to redo the wiring. Sorry, this part, not the white thing. Uh, I'm going to have to wire those. And uh, when you bought it, the guy had put these these lights on. I mean, it looks okay. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna paint that grit red there, and I'm gonna redo all the all the paint on it. And it's cool. He's got a red seat. I already put this on. Scooter tuning is not a crime. What I was just working on, which I just uh, which I just finished. Tonight is the uh, front turn signals. These are they right here. These are them rather, I don't know. And uh, yeah, they weren't wired. They just had loose wires, so I wired those up with the wires that originally come up here. I can show you. So I don't know why they make this weird noise, like a weird rhythm almost. It's uh, this thing right here, I don't know what it's called, but that's what regulates the, uh, the interval. It must be old or something. It's 2003. So it kind of goes... You can see. So, I don't know. Kind of cool, I guess. The other one works, too. Started painting the forks red. I'm too lazy to take them all apart because of the disc break is a pain to put back. So put a bunch of uh, saran wrap all over the place and tape and just sprayed it. I haven't done the other side. Painted the uh, transmission cover. I just got this kind of uh, putty thing here. So I'm waiting for that to dry. I'm going to sand it down. Put a couple more coats. So here I just finished wiring the um, the switch for his neons. His being my friend because I'm doing this for my friend. This is my friend Scooter. Um, just finished. Oops, just finished wiring his switch right here. Looks looks really nice. I mean, it looks uh, stock. Here, here you see it in a closer view. You can see it looks really clean. And uh, <clears throat> so behind, I've got these wires. These ones right here. They go down here. Down under here up through here, follow all these other wires and go take the goes and takes the power from the light that usually lights up the plate. 
um, so there won't be that light except if you cut out the plastic there then that light the brake light can also light up your plate um, this is what the guy previously had done I'm going to put something to protect because it's really dirty in there and stuff could fly up and potentially break your bulb and then I've got so basically this uh, the, the the wire that's going up here is just um, my positive. I just right over here I cut my positive in two and put two two lines going up to switch. Then my wires continue here, continue over here to um, oops to this, which is my positive and negative, which I'm going to hook up to neons underneath and neons going from underneath the seat. So I'm um, just waiting for my neon strips to come in from YouTube, uh, from YouTube, from eBay, and uh, then I'll install that. So I ordered them about a week and a half ago. Should arrive soon. Usually it takes about two weeks. So um, yeah, that's it. All right. So what I've been working on now is uh, I've been sanding down the plastic so I'm getting ready to paint them. And um, I was using this putty like last time. This thing really needs a lot of work. But for here, you can see it's really starting to, to work out. Here too, I'm put, I just put another layer. I'm going to sand it down because the crack was still a little visible. But uh, yeah, so we're getting ready to paint them. I'm going to have to take out the light bulbs. Yeah, so just <clears throat> I just put the first layer of slimer on. And this here. Primer. Just put its first layer on it. Let that dry. Put a second layer. Can go on for two layers of color. Then two layers of clear. And uh, for the front, I'm going to do it after because it's still not drying. It's still not dried. This part here, it's drying. I put it right where there's the fan. I'm blowing kind of right onto it. So that's it. You're wondering which mobility service gives you more? Well, just answer the following. Alright, so I just put the uh, LED strips all on the underneath of the seat. I can't remember if I had already said what my plan was in another video, so I'll just go over it briefly. Put neons underneath here, and it glows red under the seat. So uh, I don't know if you can picture it, but you will at the end of the video. Um, I use a staple gun, but half of them didn't really stick in very well, so I'm going to use some glue some uh, epoxy just to make sure it's well in there wire them together because they each have uh, their own wires wire them together and set them back to the same switch over there I also just finished uh, well finished I just put the second layer of uh, black it's a matte black so that'll look really nice I think and remember the state of the plastics before that's where there was a crack. I mean, you can still see it. It's never going to be perfect, but it's still a lot less noticeable than it was before. Um, I also painted the Kickstarter matte black. It's going to be on that red transmission cover over there. And I'm just about to start sanding this guy. Let it dry all weekend. I'm going to sand that down and then start priming it and uh, finish painting that. Here it is, the red um, transmis transmission cover, the matte black Kickstarter. Alright, <clears throat> so I finished putting uh, the back part of the body, so I haven't put on the front yet. Just finished that, and uh, the neons look awesome, so I'm going to turn off the lights and show you guys. Uh, so I'm just going to turn on the key, and there you go. It's kind of hard to tell on the camera, but that's the lights underneath here. I've got a light here, and there's your bench. Anyways, it's hard to see on the camera, but everything is lit up kind of in red.